Hello, this is Will from Will to Trade. Uh, you can check me out at www.willtotrade.com. Uh, if you're interested in joining our chat room, just go to the site, fill out the form, and we'll get you all taken care of. Today is Friday, uh, June 10th, and I want to talk about the stock Gevo, G E V O. Uh, this stock had really gone through a roller coaster uh, for the past couple days this week. Currently on the screen, we have the one year chart. Uh, I wanted to talk about this stock a little bit from a technical point of view, a tiny bit from a a news point of view or a fundamental point of view, but more from a technical point of view. Uh, as you can obviously tell, this stock has really been beaten up uh, really bad in the past year. You know, it was maybe around four bucks or a little bit more than four bucks or so uh, about a year ago and has really dropped and really plummeted. Um, in comparison, the, the amount of volume, as you can tell in most of the bottom part here is uh, very, very little, almost, almost really no volume at all. The past couple days this week has been a lot. Uh, this dotted blue line right here represents a dollar twenty. It's kind of a point of uh, at one point it was a point of support. Now it's definitely a point of resistance. Um, this middle line here is on uh, sixty cents. Again, also this was uh, a point of support and then the point of resistance. And this red line here is forty cents. Um, now I think it's uh, same concept. It was a point of uh, support and and probably now back to a point of resistance. Um, so what do I mean about support and resistance? Uh, you know, if you're new to trading, uh, these are these are sort of uh, demarcations, uh, lines, areas, price points uh, where stocks can rest on a support line, uh, or where they just have a very difficult time breaking through on a uh, resistance line. So this the the first half of a year ago, as you can tell, it was well above a dollar twenty. You know, here it didn't even come close to dollar twenty. Fell down a little bit. You know, almost around two bucks, but nowhere near one twenty. And then it, it, you know, it just it kind of tickled 120 a couple times, and in, in, interestingly enough, you know, this last red candle before it really, you know, gapped down, which is really an unfortunate situation. Uh, again, just right, right above 120. Um, so 120 just be kind of comes that that important mark, mark or demarcation um, where it's either above or below 120. Uh, and then here at 60 cents, you know, again, some of these candles here kind of resting at 60 cents. Uh, but once it breaks down below 60 cents, I mean, it just spent the whole rest of the year, uh, besides for the last couple of days, uh, below 60 cents. And then right here at the 40 cents, most of the uh, last couple of months below 40 cents, uh, at the lowest down to 22 cents. Uh, but first of all, I do want to say, you know, just kind of to everyone, if you lost money on Jivo this past week, uh, truly my condolences to you. I mean that sincerely. You know, I, I, run a, I run a chat room. I want everyone in there to make money. I want everyone out of the room to make money. I want everyone in the market making money. Obviously, I know that that's, you know, not mathematically possible. If everyone's making money, then you know, no one's losing. But um, if you made money on Jivo, hey, you did great. And we'll talk about that and how you could have. And if you didn't make money on Jivo, um, you know, I know there's some people in the room that, that lost some money, and I know I know of some people out of the room that lost money. Uh, truly, 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 uh, I'm sorry for that. But I, I hope, hopefully, maybe this video can help you kind of avoid that situation in the future. If it can, you know, then then at least I've been able to do do some good. Uh, and again, the first part I want to start with is these support and resistance lines. I think it's important to draw these lines on, on a macro scale, on a you know yearly scale before jumping into uh, a trade, just to kind of understand where a stock has been and where these lines are because these lines do come back into play over and over. So we understand the first half of the year, there's really no reason to zoom in. Let's zoom in on the second half of the year. Uh, again, $1.20, it just, you know, not almost, almost down $1.20, but not really. Um, and then once it once it gaps down, you know, it's even like below a dollar. You know, we all know that stocks below a dollar, you know, have compliance issues and are just, you know, the penny stocks and, uh, generally speaking, not as many traders, investors are as excited by them. Obviously, there are a lot of penny stock traders that, that love trading stocks, you know, below a dollar. Uh, but it's, this is where Givo really took a, a sad turn. Uh, you know, again, you can see here, there's your, your 60 cents. It kind of touches it, it touches it, uh, it touches it, touches it. But once it once it broke down below 60 cents, I mean, it spent the whole rest of the, this past few months, except for the past couple of days, below 60 um, and then 40 cents really kind of like riding the middle you know there's some days where it's below there's some days where it's above some days it's below some days it's right through 40 some days it's trying to push up into the 60 cent range but then again it gap down again so really it's just tough tough time for Jivo let's zoom in here 
again, even when we zoom in, you know, there's very little volume in comparison to the past four days or so. Uh, you know, again, this, this, this chart pretty much every single day, you know, except for these days, except for the wick here, except for the past few, few trading days, pretty much every single day it's below 40 cents. You know, it's, 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 it's no disrespect to Jivo. It just, you know, it is what it is. I mean, this is a stock that's, that's trading below 40 cents. This is a stock that, that, that's been beaten up and, uh, for whatever reason has a very low market value. Um, these are the past few days we can, you know, zoom in there. You can see them, you know, kind of makes like a, like a little Christmas tree or something, you know, depending on how you want to look at it. But let's, let's now zoom into uh, last five days and see what that looks like. All right. So we're looking at the last five days with um, the darker black sections as the, the, during the day. And then we're looking at these grayed out sections here and here as after hours, here's after hours, and then there's after hours. Um, so Jivo has traded continuously, um, you know, not here on, on Monday, but but from, uh, you know, Monday afternoon and then Tuesday and then Tuesday afternoon, pretty much continuous, like massive amounts of after hours and pre-market trading. Uh, again, I'll talk really briefly on the news, but I don't want to go too deep into the news uh, because, again, when I personally look at stocks, you know, I'm looking more from the technicals than I am the news. Uh, but there was some new, you know, Jivo makes uh, fuel uh, for airlines and there was a, like an airline a deal with Alaska Airlines and, um, you know, something about like a natural kind of fuel uh, that seemed kind of exciting. And I, you know, to anyone watching or listening, if I've botched the information in the news, I truly apologize. If you understand the news better than I do, you know, send me an email, let me know. Um, but I think I think it kind of illustrates the importance, you know, because. There, there had been lots of times when I would trade, I would, I would look at the news and, and I would interpret the news as really exciting. I'd be like, this is amazing news. This stock should, you know, double or triple or quadruple or, or explode or go up 10, 20, 30%. And the stock wouldn't. So what I've personally learned, uh, sometimes the hard way over the years, is it's not so much the news, it's the trader's reaction to the news. It's not so much the news, it's the trader's reaction to the news. So sometimes when we're in the trade, we're going to have our own emotions and our own ideas as to what's going on. Wow, this is so incredible. Uh, but we really need to pay attention to the market and we need to pay attention to the charts. The charts is going to tell us what the market is doing. The charts are going to tell us how the market is responding to the news. That is more important than what we think of the news. So, okay, so here's the last five days. Let's zoom in to... Um, Tuesday and Wednesday, because I think this is when things really start taking off. Um, so again, here's our 60 cents, you know, this is a really important line. Uh, I think somewhere around here or so, or maybe earlier part of the day, there's some rumblings about the news. Again, you see it's like uh, 60 cents is that's, you know, the point of uh, resistance. Couldn't really break it in the beginning part of the day. It kind of uh, flatlined or consolidated through most of the day. And then it broke it. And it broke it um, pretty, pretty decently, you know, popped up almost, almost going to 70 cents, came back down a little bit, just a little bit, and then kind of maintained at 60 cents and then had an explosive after hours. I mean, this may not look like it, but this is explosive. You know, look, here's 60 cents. Here's a dollar 20. Here's 60 cents. Here's a dollar 20. That's a hundred percent increase in after hours. I mean, that that's massive. So if you're new to trading and you think that stocks do this all the time, they don't. Um, if you're new to trading, you know, it's extremely rare for a stock to even double during the market hours for a stock to double after hours. It's, it's extraordinarily rare. And I want to talk about this and what that means and, you know, how we can trade these, these stocks a little more accurately, a little more disciplined. Uh, you know, if you're trading a stock, you need to go in with a plan. You probably hear that all the time. Plan. I got to go in plan. Kind of, what does that mean? Well, what are you talking about a plan? A plan means where do you want to buy it and where do you want to sell it? And I know a lot of traders, a lot of traders in our room, you know, they may sell something at, at a buck or a buck oh five. Go, oh man, I left money on the table. It went to a dollar twenty. It should go to two bucks or more. I left money on the table. But that's the wrong way to, to look at a trade. You really shouldn't count how much money you leave on the table, you know, because by that logic, you know, you're leaving hundreds, thousands, millions of dollars every day on the table. There's there's tons of money on tons of trades that, that you're not a part of. 
All, all that you really can count is the money you do make. So a plan could be, here's just an idea of a plan. Okay, I'm watching Jibo. I see that it's hitting a point of resistance. I see that it's, it's consolidating the whole day. It popped up over 60. Oh, I'm interested. Okay, if I can buy it, let's say at 70 cents, right? Um, in the after hours, I'm a buyer. Okay, which means you'd either buy it in this, this first five minute candle or you'd wait for it to pull back and you'd buy right there. Okay, I don't have a long a line drawn there, but there's there's 70 cents. But then you have to have a plan. Again, what do I mean by a plan? To say, okay, I'm buying at 70 cents and I want to sell it at X, you know, and you have to know what you want to sell it at. You have to have an idea as to what you want to sell it at. If you just buy it, go, well, I'm just going to hold it forever. I'm just going to hold it for infinity, you know, and think it's just going to go up, 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 up. That's not going to happen. Stocks don't do that. Stocks go up and stocks go down. So a plan could be, I'll buy it at 70 cents. If it goes to a dollar five, I'm a, I'm a seller. So what does that mean? That means you could buy it after hours with a limit order at 70 cents, and then you put another limit order like right around there or so, sell limit a dollar five, and it's automatically going to sell you. I recommend that. I'm not saying I recommend 70 cents and dollar five, but I recommend having a plan, and I recommend having an idea as to where you want to buy it and then where you want to sell it. In this particular example, you have 70 cents and a dollar five. Just one example. There's no right or wrong. Uh, for these particular numbers that I chose, you know, a uh, dollar five is 35 cents more than 70 cents. That's a 50% uh, return, which is huge, 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 huge return. 50% return. We talk in our room. Our goal is to make five to 10% return in a day. This is 50%. This is like five times the, the high end of that return. Uh, you know, just a couple hours in the after hours. Stocks don't move that much in the after hours. I'll say it again. Stocks don't move that much in the after hours. So that's a plan. And I think what happened was there's a lot of traders that went into this with no plan. Like, I'll just buy it. Okay, let's go. Let's just go and go and go. And, and they, they saw stocks like HMNY go from $1 to $16 and think, well, here we go. Jivo's going to do the same thing. Jivo's going to go from $1 to $16. And sadly, that didn't happen. Uh, another idea of a plan, I'm just going to give two plan ideas here, uh, is to say, you know, I, I like this line of 60, 60 cents. I want to buy it at 60 cents, you know. So I'll buy it right around here at 60 cents. And then to say, you know what, if I'm lucky enough that it goes to twenty, I'm a seller. 60 cents, twenty. Buy it at 60 cents, sell it at twenty. That becomes a plan, right? And I want to say this really, really clear. I'm going to say it like three times in a row. I don't care what stock it is. I don't care if it's during the day. I don't care if it's after hours. I don't care if the stock is 10 cents or a dollar or a hundred dollars. If you can buy a stock and then sell it and double your money, sell it. I'll say, I'll say it a second time. If you can buy a stock, I don't care what the price is and you can, and you can sell it and you can double your money, especially, especially if you can double your money in a day or if you can double your money within a few hours, sell it. I'll say it one more time. If you can buy a stock at any price, at any price, 10 cents, 20 cents, a dollar, ten dollars, a hundred dollars, and you can sell it for double your money in the same day or in a few hours, sell it. Because otherwise you're just you're just being unrealistic, you know, because stocks don't do that. Again, if you're new, if you're watching this video and you're your first couple months into trading, you never really traded before. This isn't Vegas, you know. This isn't this isn't where you, you double your money every time you you have a, a blackjack hand or something. I mean, stocks will creep really slowly. Maybe give you a couple percent return in a day. There's investors that are 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 doing carton wheels, somersault. I made two percent today. Super happy. If you make five or ten percent, it's great. Fifty percent is phenomenal. A hundred percent, a hundred percent in one day, it's just out of this world. So. That's trading with a plan. That's an extreme plan. Buy at 60 cents, sell at 120. And I think what might have happened, and I mean, obviously there's different traders with different stories, but I think what might have happened is there may have been traders that bought in at 60 cents, saw it go to $1.20, thought about HMNY, and said, that's not enough. I want more. It, it spiked up here in like the really early hours, and then it came crashing right back down. And interestingly enough, notice how it kind of hovers that $1.20 mark. It, it kind of you know, popped up a little bit. These are really uh, bearish uh, candles because they're really long wicks. You know, you have three in a row, especially descending. Um, it's really not a strong sign that, that much is going to happen. And right around here, um, 10 o'clock or so, you know, the way I kind of look at it, if a stock um, opens up and then pulls back in the, in the pre-market 
and doesn't make a continuation move by the first three or four hours of the market and it's actually trending down, even if it's ever so slightly, I say the stock is done. And I even post it, and I'm going to show it. I even, and I rarely post uh, bearish activity because I'm, I'm really bullish by nature. But I saw that, and I even posted, not looking too promising for the rest of the day, bearish, Jivo, and it's even time-stamped, uh, June 8th, uh, 10.04, which is, you know, I'm in California time. That's like uh, 11, 12, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 p.m., East Coast time. So there you have it. Um, you know, I can only do so much. Just kind of let the word out. It it just it 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 ran too far up, too quickly. It had no choice but to pull back down. It failed to continue to run. It's just a sign that sorry, the stock just can't do much more. And if we scroll over to um, after hours, it just kept falling. And now it's you know here on Thursday, yesterday, it's you know hovered just above the seventy cent range. There's our 60 cents, which we, which we drew. Sadly, it fell again, uh, you know, below the, the 60 cents. And once it fell below the 60 cents, I mean, that was it. You know, it it it's 45 cents now. Today, it's possible the stock could go back down to, to 40 cents or below. It's sad. It's a sad reality, but that's that's the reality. I mean, it just it squeezed up so fast and came back down. So I just want to talk about a few more things, and I'm going to close this video. You know, there's only, in my opinion, there's only a handful of things that can make a stock really explode, uh, especially for a long term. And when I say long term, I guess you know more than more than a day. Uh, we need an earnings winner when a stock really, really does way, way better than earnings, uh, or a contract winner. You know, getting a, like a really big contract that's really, really profitable that can be exciting. A new investor or a new investment firm, um, you know, an example of that would be VLTC last year, I want to say last April, when um, Carl Icahn or Carl Icahn's company had invested a stake in VLTC, and that stock exploded for like two or three weeks. You know, that, that's a big investor or a big investment firm. A merger or an acquisition, and that, that's HMNY earlier this week that went from a dollar to $16, which by the way now is back down to like nine bucks or so. Or a new product, a service, or an approval. Um, I don't think I don't think Jivo's news really fell into any of those five categories. I think it was like okay news, like okay, yeah, maybe you know these airlines in Alaska are going to use their fuel or something. It, it kind of seems kind of cool. It kind of seems like a like a like a new product or you know service, kind of. It's kind of like a merger and acquisition, kind of, but it's not really, really right. So I think that's what happened. This is my opinion. You know, what I think happened with Jibo. And I just think the, the last thing I want to say, which is the most important thing, I said it like in the middle of the video, but I want to say it again. Whether you're in our room or not, whether you're trading penny stocks or dollar stocks, whether you're trading for the plan of a five-minute trade or a five-day trade or a five-month or a five-year trade, have a plan, have a plan, have a plan. I want to, I want to buy at this price or at least in this area and I want to sell in this price or I want to sell in this price. It, it doesn't mean that you're going to get your price. I mean, you could even have a plan with Jivo, right? It says, I'm buy at 60 cents and I'm going to sell at $2. Well, at least you have a plan, right? At least you have a, an idea as to what you want to accomplish. Hey, I, I, want to, I want to sell for 2 bucks. And then when Wednesday rolls around and you see it's not getting there, it's not getting to 2 bucks, it's not getting there, then you have to cut your, 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 your plan, change your plan, say, you know what? My plan was $2. But just because I want it to go to $2 doesn't mean that it wants to go to $2. So I'm going to have to change my plan and say, you know what? A buck 20 is the best I can do, or a buck 10 is the best I can do. But guess what? If you bought for 60 cents and you sell for a buck 20, you're still a winner. But if you bought for a buck 20, you want it to go to two bucks, you see it at a buck 20, you don't sell it, and then now you just wait, you wait, and now it's down to 40 cents, and then you're kind of forced to sell it. Well, you didn't really follow your own plan. So I hope this video helps. I hope hope some people were able to to learn a few things about Jivo and learn a few things about how to trade, how to trade with a plan. And if you can double your money on a trade, any trade in a day or two, I don't care if the stock is going to go up and double again and double again and double again. Uh, take your take your winnings off the table. If you want to maybe try to to trade a second time or a third time, if it keeps on doubling, okay, fine. But you know, from 60 cents to 120, it's just sell, just sell, 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 sell. It's extraordinarily rare where you're gonna be able to double your money in a day or in after hours. I mean, it's 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 
it happens so rarely I, I can't even count how many times well again thanks again for the video if you like it give it a thumbs up if you love it hit subscribe if you're interested in joining our room so you can get uh, real-time alerts about what, how to play these stocks and more uh, just go to the site will to trade.com fill out the form and we'll get you all taken care of thank you so much have a great day and a wonderful weekend